University of Miami Sports Medicine Institute. Experts treat athletes of all levels, elite pros, active adults, and youth athletes. Recover your game. Visit uhealthsportsmedicine.com. It's now time for the breakdown segment with head coach Manny Diaz, and I'm sure you got some highlights today, coach. Yeah, we're talking about starting fast, winning the key moments in the middle of the game, and then finishing strong. Um, but starting fast, something we hadn't done a great job of, you know, obviously the last couple of weeks. So team made a big deal about it. Here we are, you know, early first quarter, second play of the game on defense. And NC State's an outstanding outside zone running football team. And early second, the second play of their first run attempt, they were going to test us out on that. And, again, 79 is kind of their, their really, really talented NFL prospect tackle. And watch Jafari Harvey just slip that block. Boom, penetrate, get in the backfield, and make the running back have to bubble so far back. And now we always talk about the speed of Keontre Smith. That Will linebacker is able to shoot through that gap right there and tackle for loss on their first running play. So huge. But, Coach, also on Keontre Smith, he was able to slip through there and didn't give the, didn't give the guard a full shot. That's right. We, 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 we see how he dips his shoulder underneath. Mm -hmm. We talk about eliminating blocking surface. Right, and that's why there's been a lot of great linebackers at the University of Miami who haven't been big, tall guys. You know, there's been all, all kinds of legends come through here that are around six feet tall. Um, and if they play low to the ground, football is a low man game, and counter can do that, and then has the speed to finish. But a really nice st start by Jafari on this play. So that sets up a third down and long because you get the tackle for loss. And so we're going to drop back, play a little zone coverage. Quarterback's going to throw it short, which is what we want. That they got to get all the way to here, and this is just. I thought this, again, set the tempo tone for the day. Great job of tackling, you know what I mean? Leverage tackle. Tyreek Stevenson outside in. That's Amari Carter inside out. And look at all the, the, the black shirts to the ball. And, and, you know, you're always trying to set the tone early on. I mean, there's, there's five or six guys in the tackle here at the end getting out of the stack. James Williams is in there. Keontre Smith is in there. To Corey Couch. And that's, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to, you know, you almost want to – Intimidate the other team on their sideline. Look at all. Look at all the, the the guys. There's Harrison Hunt to the ball. It just effort. Guys getting the ball. Great way to set the tone, right? Coach, and the thing that was impressed Joe and I during that ball game was how many guys were around the ball all the time. That's this right. was this wasn't a fluke play right here. That's no. That's that's right. And I thought our guys brought great intensity. So now we get the ball on offense. Got to start well on offense, right? Tyler kind of put it out there this week in terms of. You know, I got to make sure I get us off to a great start. But, man, we got a third and ten. And we're playing the number one third down defense in the country, right? So they're going to, you know, they're going to bring a pressure up the middle. We can, we can look at the blocking here in a second. But they've got man-to-man -man coverage, one-on-one -on -one here. All these guys are matched up man-to-man -man with a safety deep in the middle of the field. And that's Mike Harley. And I always say you need your seniors to make plays. Now, Mike, a lot of the game, the way they were structured coverage-wise, it was kind of hard to get Mike the ball. They, they, a lot of times they had two guys over the top of them. This time they left him one-on-one. -on -one. It didn't happen very often. Mike runs a corner route, and Tyler, again, he's got a really great pocket to throw. Boom. I mean, that's, that is a big, big-time play on third and ten against a defense that was not letting this happen. And Coach, let's talk about how hard a throw that is. Yep. I mean, you're going across the entire field, and you're, you're throwing to your left-hand side. This, that, that's difficult. That's right. I mean, he's driven the ball from his 17-yard line, and Mike's catching it. You know, almost at the 47 yard line, so 30. But then obviously you got the, I would, you know, I wasn't really good at math, you know, the Pythagorean <laughs> theorem or whatever. But that's, you know, but that's it right there. So I mean, a big, big time play, and that kind of gets us going. And again, really nice job on the inside, picking up a three man twist. Knighton comes and kind of knocks into the guy right there. You know, everyone saw what he did with the, you know, with the ball in his hands. But but that's big. And look at this pocket for Tyler to load up and let it rip. Well, Knighton really saved the day. That 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 bump that he gave allowed. Tyler finishes throw. That's exactly right, and that's and that's what it takes. And then Mike again to make sure he's in bounce, you know, to cradle the catch to make that play. Got us going. Great start. Gets everybody excited. That's what you need when you want to start fast. And then what that leads to later in the drive, again a third down and two. Now look at NC State. They're hard to stop or they're hard to move the ball on. They got the whole team up there. They're going to bring the house. We got a run play call. And this is to me where college balls change. It's going to. They're not going to let you run the ball. They got they got every up there on a, on, a, on a massive blitz, so Tyler Tyler's going to pull it, and he knows he's got one on one out here with Charleston Rambo. And this is the danger that defenses are putting themselves in: is that are you going to allow Rambo to be out there one on one? Tyler, quick fake pulls the ball back. I mean, look at that. <laughs> How he did that. I mean, that ain't easy, man. That ain't easy. And right now he's got to anticipate. I mean, look at even where Rambo's at in coverage. 
and he lets it rip, knows that he might take a hit, ends up not taking a hit, trust your guy, bang. And Rambo not only draws a PI, but, but decides to, to get the hand one and makes a catch two. Big time play, and that to me is starting fast. It's also an advantage to have a quarterback that's pushing six five that can stand in there. That's like right, that, isn't yeah. it? That, that every inch, every inch matters when that guy hits it. But when when you got receivers that you can trust, because I mean, even look right here. I mean, they're even. The Rambo's doing a great job tracking the ball. The defensive back can't see it, and and right there able to finish again. That's that's huge. Joe and I talked about the arc of that pass. It, it we thought it went out of the building. Yep, that's how it had to be thrown to get it over top of the, the rusher. You can see what Tyler sees. I mean that's, I mean they, the run. Like I said, the run. They they got the whole the whole same they got, guys. They got a team meeting up there, right? So all you really you're left with a chance, and that's to get it out there, and give your guy a chance. And that's to me. That's why that's why Rambo came to Miami to make these plays on the outside lanes. We struggled with that a year ago, and that's why teams pay. If that that ball is not caught. They could run that blitz all night. Now they got to choose, you know, whether that's a great idea. So you start fast, right? Now you get to the middle of the game, and can you win the key moments? This is a key moment, in the middle of the game. Here's the fourth down and one. And again, NC State, outstanding defense, very aggressive. And look at what you see again. Blitz, blitz, blitz. They got everybody up there on the fields, or up the field, because they think we're gonna run the ball on fourth down and one. Maybe, maybe an inside zone play, right? Well, what that means is that there's only that guy's got that guy, that guy's got that guy, and these three guys have those three guys right there, right? That's all that's that's all that's left, right? They're, they're blitzing the other guys. So again. The linebackers step up because they're expecting run. Everyone steps up because they're expecting run. Everyone steps up because they're expecting run. Now there's Rambo on a post. He beats his guy inside. And all of a sudden it's not a run. And here's Knighton coming out of the backfield on the wheel. And nobody's on him. Now sometimes these are the harder throws to make. And by the way, again, there's a rusher. There's a guy coming clean at Tyler. He's got to stand in there, deliver. He gets his hand hit right as he throws. Puts it on Jalen, humongous play. Can't wait to see the inside copy on this. You'll see the pressure come immediately. Yeah, because these guys, because uh, Will and Larry are going out for passes. They have they have a collision into these guys. So one, that's a guy that's got the running back man to man. But you can see what he's guessing. He's and like any good linebacker anticipates a hey, inside run. That's his gap. I got to go fill it. And all of a sudden, holy cow! <laughs> and the guy you see out here, he had the tight end man to man. So his eyes are in, are, are in the wrong place. And that's all it takes. Great design by the offense, great setup, and then great job by Jalen and Tyler. Again, Van Dyke with the poise in the pocket. Yeah, not easy, not easy. And now you start fast, you win crucial moments, and all of that gets you a one-point lead. And again, another critical situation, a fourth down. These are the margins. These are the plays. They go your way, you win. They don't go your way, you lose. And this is Cam Kitchens. And we're in man coverage. It's fourth down and eight. We got one safety in the middle of the field. These two guys have these two guys. And State's making it hard. Okay, they, they struggle with bump and run, so they're trying to stack a guy so this guy can get a free release. And see how he's not declaring. He can go inside, he can go outside. Now, Cam knows he's got help on the inside part of the football field. So the receiver runs an outbreaking route. Quarterback tries to throw it before he gets sacked. Ball is out quick. And this is it, man. The moment of truth, right? They got to get to the 46. Yard line right there. And this is, to me, mono a mono football, right? Bang. And, and the thing I love about Cam is he runs, never gathers, runs right through his feet, wraps up, secures the tackle, and makes a humongous play. And does that, does that not excite everybody? You know what I mean? And look who's coming, by the way, like a madman out of the middle field. That's Avante Williams. You know what I mean? So if somehow, some way, if that guy would have squirmed out, you mentioned effort early on, right? that Avante might have had a chance. Imagine how that insane that would have been, you know? So tell us what Cam's looking at through the route. So he's so they'd actually run this play before. So Cam's mm -hmm. got an idea of what the guy's doing. He's skipping off. They want you to kind of lose track, and then he's going to run to the outside. That's why they're, they're trying to soften up our coverage by running, having two receivers basically occupy the same airspace, right? You, almost, you can't cover that guy in there. You can't line up in between a stack, right? That's why they're stacking. Now, sometimes people stack, one guy goes in, one guy goes out, that's easy. Well, they're making it hard, they're both going forward. So you gotta wait for the guy to declare which way is he gonna go, which way is he gonna go. And then as soon as the guy breaks out, you can see the quarterback's arm is already off the ball, ready to throw it, but Cam's already on it. Bang is able to make the play, humongous. But the work is still not done. <laughs> now we have the ball for our offense. We made NC State use their two timeouts, but in the process, we've lost some yards, third and 16 against the nation's number one third down defense and plenty of time. If you run it and punt it, State's getting the ball with about 145 left. 
you know, and a field goal wins it, right? So we decided we we're going to be aggressive. NC State in this situation, they're in a three deep, five under structure, which they had run before. And we're running Will Mallory on a deep crossing route and then Jalen Knighton on an angle route. Now, what had happened all game, we had run this play twice earlier in the game. And what happens is when these guys all sink back to take away Will Mallory, which is a good idea, there's really no left underneath for Jalen. And we actually threw one to Jalen, and he actually ran for a first down on third and 10 earlier in the game. We ran it again in the game, and same thing. They all sunk back and they covered Will Mallory. So here's Tyler Van Dyke in a situation where you don't want an incompletion. You don't want to stop the clock. Right. Can't, certainly can't take a sack. God forbid the ball got tipped or picked, right? That would disaster that would be. They only need a, a field goal to win. But he's got to trust his read. And for whatever reason, the linebacker, this is their backup Mike linebacker. Number one, is a great player, got hurt. And as we know, injuries are part of the game. For whatever reason, he chases Knight out of the backfield and leaves a humongous void. Now, it seems obvious that, that Tyler should throw the ball to that guy, but you still have to trust your read. It's been so easy for Tyler to say, you know what? They're all going to drop back on third and 16. I'll just stare down Jalen and throw it to Jalen. But he doesn't. He trusts his reads. He believes it. Now, Will Mallory does something really vet play right here. Watch him. See how he sort of idles down in the zone? He could have kept running to that zone defender. He doesn't do that. He sort of idles down in the zone, gets big for Tyler, and then great secure the catch. Huge cavity in the middle of the of field. They took Jalen away. And now, and I'm going to show you from the end zone copy, three-man rush. So a great pocket, which we knew there would be. But watch Tyler. He sees it. So he, once he sees that Mike linebacker clear out, he knows he's got it. And he trusts it. He lets it rip. Great catch. And you want to talk about a game of inches? Watch this. Great job securing the ball, right? Because if that ball, if that shoulder hits that ball, it could have knocked out, gone anywhere, fumble incomplete. Big time play. Coach, those two guys look like they've been doing that for 20 years. It's been three weeks, right? I mean, other than practice. That's right. And ball and, games. And that's why we're so excited about Will to make this play. He, he deserved to make a, a, a game-winning type play like this. But for Tyler to be able to make that throw and just not believe, just believe what he saw. He had to believe it. You never know what's going to happen. That's why we play the games. He believed it. He trusted it. Now, when we talk about trust and let it rip, that's trusting and letting it rip right there. And that's why the Canes win. That does it for the breakdown segment with head coach Manny Diaz. Thank you, coach. Thank you. The school bus. The Zack wagon. Wally. No matter what you call your car or why you're letting it go, AutoNation will buy it and you don't have to buy one from us. We're paying top dollar right now. So go to AutoNation.com or come see us for a super easy appraisal. Get paid on the spot and you can deposit it the same day. Visit any AutoNation store or AutoNation.com. What drives you, drives us. Hey, it's the Good Greek Spiro, and we all know that the most important part of winning a championship is getting there. And when the Miami Hurricanes need to get their equipment to each game, they call Good Greek Moving and Storage. The Miami Hurricanes trust the Good Greek, and so should you. So move like a champ and go to GoodGreek.com. Good Greek Moving and Storage, the official movers of the Miami Hurricanes. Good Greek moving in storage. Your superhero movers.